Hello everyone and welcome to SimCon Lighting's version 4 of our CMS or Central Management Software System for Outdoor Lighting Controls. This is one of a series of short videos designed to illustrate the various features and functionalities of our CMS system. In today's lesson we're going to walk through how to turn on, turn off, or dim lights within the CMS system. Within the SLC view map view, locate the SLC icon that you wish to control. Simply click its icon to bring up the dialog box with detailed information on its current mode of operation. As we can see here, this controller is in mixed mode. Let's take note of this SLC number and mode of operation because after this testing we will want to revert the controller to its previous state. In order to turn lights on, off, or to dim them, the controllers must first be set to manual mode. To do this, we will want to navigate to the commands tab across the top go to mode and set. We want to select manual mode. To easily find the SLC we want to control we'll just enter its SLC number here and click search which will automatically select it here and we'll just go ahead and select send configuration from the lower box. At this point I want to point out a distinction about the SimCon CMS system. The user interface operates on a push-pull methodology meaning that when you send commands like a set mode the user interface does not update the status of the SLCs in real time. Although we successfully changed the SLC's mode of operation, we call this a push, the status screen will retain its last known state until we read data from it. We call that a pull. Once we have read data from the SLC, we can double check to see if the mode of operation has been set to manual. And as you can see here below, this controller is now in manual mode. So there's a handful of ways that we can control the light now that it's in manual mode. We can actually use from within this dialog box the buttons below to turn it on, turn it off, to dim it, all from within here. So let's say we want to go ahead and turn this light on. Simply just click that button and there it goes. The second method to turn lights on, off, and dim is from the SLC list view. We'll drill in here into the lamp type to list all of the controllers. And from here we can either click the quick action menu and we'll just turn this one off as we had just turned it on. Or if we want, we can click the checkbox next to it, come up here to on, off, dim. We'll select the value, and here in this instance I will select dim. And to select the dimming percentage applied, we will just click and drag this drag bar here, say 25. I do want to point out that 25 in this case is the amount of dimming applied, meaning the light will be at 75% output. So we'll just search for the SLC number, as noted. It's selected, and I'll scroll down here and click Send Command. If you happen to be sitting near the lights, you will be able to watch the fixture turn on or off or dim right in front of you, verifying the control of that fixture. But if you're not in front of the fixture, please remember that the status screen of the SLC will not update in real time. You will need to read data from that SLC, the so-called pull method, for the interface to display the controller's new state. Now let's say we have confirmed visually or via the CMS that this SLC is operating as expected and the testing is complete, we will want to revert this SLC back to its previous mode of operation. To reiterate how to do that, I will come in here under the commands tab and then go to mode set and I want to bring it back to mixed mode so I select that SLC is selected and I send configuration. To verify that it is returned to its previous mode of operation we would want to read data from it to pull the new state into the status screen within the CMS interface. Well that's all for today's lesson thank you all for watching and please pass along any questions or comments you may have. Good luck and hope to see you again in the future.